Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. Today we're going to be looking at different polynomials. We're going to be adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying. So, so let's start with our first example here, adding polynomials. So we want to look for like terms. So if we look at 8x cubed, we want to see if there's any x cubed throughout this entire expression that we can add this with. And if you notice over here, we have another x cubed, so we just have 8 plus 1x cubed is just going to be 9x cubed. Now if we look for xy, our next term, we'll see that we have 2xy on this side, so we're just going to add 1, which is like a little 1 here, plus 2, which gives us 3xy. And for our last term, we just have this 3 here, a whole number, and over here we have a 1, so 3 plus 1 is just going to give us 4. So this gives us our full expression here, 9x cubed plus 3xy plus 4. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be subtracting polynomials. For subtraction polynomials like this, when they're in a parentheses, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually rewrite this whole expression because we're going to need to distribute this minus sign. So everything that's positive is going to become negative and vice versa. So let's write out this whole expression again, now taking away the parentheses. So this first half is going to stay the same. So we have 4x to the fifth plus. And now we're just distributing this minus sign. So this 2x to the fifth is positive, but now it's going to become negative. And the same for this x cubed, it was positive, now it's going to be minus x cubed. And the same thing for this 4x, minus 4x. So now we can just um, treat this like normal, like we were when we were adding polynomials, and just look for the like terms. So here we have 4x to the fifth, and we have minus 2x to the fifth, so 4 minus 2 which is going to give us 2x to the fifth. 3x cubed minus x cubed over here will just give us positive 2x cubed. And then we have 5x, which can be subtracted minus 4x. So 5 minus 4 will just give us plus x. So this gives us a final answer of 2x to the fifth plus 2x cubed plus x. So we're always just combining like terms when we're adding or subtracting polynomials. But the only thing about subtracting is to be careful with that minus sign and make sure you distribute. Multiplying a minomial times a polynomial. So here's a min our minomial, minus 3m, and we're just going to be distributing or multiplying this times our polynomial. So when we do that, we're going to have negative 3m times m cubed, which will just give us minus 3m, and then this will raise m to the fourth, because we're just adding the exponents, a part of those exponent rules. Minus 3m times 3m squared, this will give us minus 9m raised to the third power. Negative 3 times 2 is minus 6, and then we have 2m, so this will be m squared. And then, don't forget about this 1, right? So we just want to bring this guy down. So this gives us an answer. We got negative 3m to the fourth power minus 9m cubed minus 6m squared plus 1. And that's our answer. So this is our last question for dividing polynomials. In this case, we're dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So we're just going to do this one step at a time. So we're just going to focus on this guy right here first. So one one step at a time, let's let's do the whole number first. 18 divided by 9 is just 2. a squared divided by a squared is 1. They just cancel each other out. b to the 7th divided by b to the negative 2. So we're going to subtract the exponents. So we end up going 7 minus negative 2, which ends up being like 7 plus 2. So this will become b to the 9th. Now let's look at our next term. So one step at a time, we have 27 divided by 9 gives us 3. a to the fifth divided by a squared. This is just exponent rules 5 minus 2. So a to the 5 minus 2 gives us 3. 
and then b to the fourth minus negative two will give us b to the sixth. And then our last part, we have nine divided by nine is just one, a squared divided by a squared is just one, and then we still have this b left over. So there's no b over here, but we wanna make this exponent positive. So to do that, we're just going to bring it up above in the numerator and join the rest of these guys right here. So this will become b squared. And that's our answer for dividing polynomials over monomials. We get 2b to the 9th plus 3a cubed, b to the 6th plus b squared. So please let me know if you have any questions. I also have a bunch of practice questions, everything we just went over. So please check those out. The link is in the description below. If this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!